Hi, my name is Al Green. Not that one, but the, uh, the struggling guy who was in the music industry for years trying to sell talent and songs to agents. The agents befriended me and taught me techniques that I want to pass on to you through my program, which is called You Can Talk, You Can Sell. Anyone who has ever taken this program has excelled in selling and either risen to the top of their company, their team, or the top of their field. It's called You Can Talk, You Can Sell, and you can get it right here. Do you ever have anybody ever try to talk you out of anything? Well, I'm talking about people who want you to do something different, like it's any of their business. Now, when I first started in sales, I made an announcement to my friends that I'm going to be taking a job in sales. Now, the person who told me what to do, the mentor that I had at the time, told me I should take a job in sales and learn how to sell because it would advance me in all kinds of business dealings that I'll be having for the rest of my life. And he was 100% correct. But although I had it here, he said to me, you go do this because you have the capability and you can do it. All you got to do is decide. That's what he said to me. But when I told everybody all my friends, I was hearing comments like, you don't want to go into sales. What do you want to do sales for? And they said things to me that were the most ridiculous things, trying to talk me out of it. Like, don't you realize that you're going to be like one of those guys carrying a briefcase and wearing a tie? And, and they said, and do you realize the rejection you're going to have to deal? And, and, they, and I said, wait a minute. I have an opportunity here to take a job where I could make easily $100,000 a year. And they said, well, you don't want to do that. And I said, what's in any of your business? I mean, why would a person try to talk me out of doing something? And yet you will find there are people that do that. When I was putting together all of the different things that I did, which were creative productions, I had people actually telling me, you are never going to make it, you're going to fail, and you're going to make a fool out of yourself. And I said, well, that's my business. It's my money. It's my contacts, and I'm the one that did the work and did the research, and I found out that, yes, in fact, I can do this. And they basically tried to tell me, you can't do it. And I heard a famous person say, as soon as they hear the word can't, when somebody tells you you can't do it, they know they have to do it. Now I can understand what they're talking about, because I not only went into sales and did rather well, but I stayed in sales for 40 years and I was a young man like you probably might be or a young person I was in my 30s and I worked with a lot of women and they were also salespeople and we did very well how because we had fun doing something that made us money and isn't that the interesting thing that all we had to do if you really think about it was drive around and talk to people I'm talking about one-on-one -on -one professional sales. I'm talking about consultative selling, not standing at a counter because there's nothing wrong with that, but that's not the people I'm addressing. I'm addressing the professionals, the people who can take advantage of the latest trends in the industry that are starting new companies. There's huge companies launching to support the new technology, and I've talked about this before. The space age that's going to befall us is going to produce thousands of jobs. And at every one of those jobs, there's room for salespeople. But don't let anybody talk you out of anything. Because you're going to look at people who had a desire to do something, and you're going to wonder, how did they do that? How did a person decide they want to do something and then actually do it? Well, there's an interesting dynamic that enters your life when you, when you make up a, your mind to do something. You start attracting all of the signs that tell you where to go. When I decided to put together in the music industry a couple of different records, all the right people just seemed to be people that I met in, in various places. 
and hooked up with and said, let's talk. And one thing led to another. And next thing you know, I'm in a circle of people that are movers and shakers and producers, and they're teaching me things. And they're basically saying, come on board. We'd like to have another person to work with. Now, how does that happen? It happens that when you, and this is no different, when you land a job and you are working and you have boss that you have to answer to, and they're telling you to go out and find customers. Now, how do you do that? It's the same mentality. When you make up your mind that you're going to do it, you will be led. The universe will guide you to where you need to go and to meet all the right people and to get into the right situations. And you run into things that are just what some people would call luck, but it's not luck really at all. It's your effort in finding and opening the channels that are going to take you there. I'm not talking anything like really crazy out in the ethers. I'm talking about logic. For example, for years I dealt with a company where I had to look for new new customers that moved into apartments. If I were to, on a Saturday morning, drive through the apartment complex and see a U-Haul trailer, uh, somebody was either unloading to move in or they were moving out. And then it was a matter of approaching them and asking them, are you moving in? You're moving out. If they were moving in, I'd say, I'd like to talk to you about the services that I have. If they were moving out, I would say, where are you going? Okay, now by me doing this, I would happen upon a couple of extra sales on a weekend when nobody else was working. Now, why would that happen? Because I was there. Because after all, if I, if I was mainly selling to people who move in and out of apartments, wouldn't it make sense that I go to the apartment complex and look for people that are moving in and out? It's that simple. That's not magic. That's not even luck. I don't know how many times I ran into people that were moving in, and I had a chance to talk to them and then sell them the services that I was selling at the time. It's no different than when I was selling to aerospace, and I had to be with the buyer of a particular department and I would go into that company and I would ask for the person and I found a method of getting past the gatekeeper and finding the exact person that I needed to talk to now this was a method that was taught to me by another salesman who was very successful so all the techniques I'm bringing you are proven techniques that are not techniques that I myself created but that were taught to me and I want to share them with you because the people that I worked with that actually failed were the ones that didn't use these techniques. And the people that succeeded are the people that did use these techniques. These were simple techniques that nobody ever thought of, and I've never heard them in sales training, in any sales training or seminar that I've ever been to, or any sales book I've read. So I'm going to bring you some techniques, some methods that are part of the system that are going to get you into doing it your way so that you're not doing it my way but you're going to do it your way not my way and that way you're going to find out what your potential is but don't let anybody talk you out of it if you're not in sales now and you're thinking of going into it it's one of the best careers that you could ever choose because it means basically talking to people and getting paid to do so i mean you have to close sales and yeah it's not it's not all a gravy train, trust me. There is work involved, but you tell me one job where you don't have to work. If you're a construction worker, you have to work. If you are selling at a counter, you have to go to the counter every day and you have to clock in. If you are a salesperson selling insurance, in order for you to stay alive in the company, you have to make sales. That's going to be just about anywhere. But I have coached people on how to get a job in any industry because it's something that you could do. You can actually get a job in any industry that you want to work in. And if you don't know how to do it, I will show you some of the techniques that will get you into finding the place that you find the point of contact so that you can get in. Believe it or not, it's not as hard as you might think. And yeah, you're going to run into adversity, and you are going to run into people that are going to say, are you out of your mind? you want to take up sales? Uh, actually, you talk to the people that have made the grade, that have really hit in the top 5% of all the salespeople, and ask them if they were out of their minds. And you're going to find some very logical people that nobody was out of their minds. 
everybody took the job and they knew what they were going to do. Now, where did this idea came from? This idea came from the idea that you look at any of the great people in history that made a name for themselves, whether it's a composer or an artist or somebody that came up with an idea to change a law. How did they know what they were doing? How did they know that their idea would actually be something that everyone would take? I looked up some of my ancestors that were people in history, and I found out that they made a decision to do something, and against anybody telling them anything, they just went and did it, including changing laws and, and appealing for laws. There is a lot of history that everybody has, and somewhere there's somebody who is a, a forward thinker. And that's all you need to do, is think yourself through this. Because when you decide to do something, and you make that commitment, sorry, when you do that something and you make that commitment, you're going to find that the pathways that you need to go to are going to open up for you, and, and you're going to be led. The signs will be there. It's a strange principle, but we'll cover it in the Six Figure Selling System, which is my workshop I want you to join me in. So I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you.